Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them online in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 so far videos on Shopify customization. They were all requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe. Or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that would drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, that let you decide, now respect your decision. Or actually, you will see that in this video, because in this video, I will show you how to add a video banner on your Shopify store completely free and by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable because most of, most of the teams right now they don't have a video banner and you might be wondering about the one in front of me right now, right now this one is actually already posted in one of my videos like a month ago or so and it's already available and it's highly customizable this one is cinematic and has way more options that you don't even need just check out the video for it and you will see for yourself but this video, I will show you a different one. That you can add a blur to the video in case it is too bright or too contrasty. So you can make the text on the video banner looks way better. You can resize the text, add a button, remove the button. It's many more stuff that you don't even need again. I add them just in case. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new star, which is always down team. And each video I add small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this square logos as you can see with the fade at the corners. And once I hover over it, it stops. Or actually, recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have six products added to the cart. And I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and by using your own custom code. And it will only show up once the user trying to leave. So you can get back and say, hey, pay me the money he owes me. Of course, a checkout button, check button on the pop-up so you can do that. And not just these. There is a lot of things I cannot even mention in one video. Otherwise, it will be like one hour long. But I'll let you... Check out the channel and decide for yourself. But yeah, in this video, I will show you how to add a video banner. But we will not do demonstration on the Shopify team because, as you can see, it already has a video banner and it, I cannot add any more. Or I actually can, but I prefer not to. So <laughs> let me close this one and we will do demonstration on a new version of uh, Dion, which is this one right here. It's the same, but it's not customized. And by the way, this code that I will share with you in this video completely free and it will work on every Shopify team. No matter if it's paid one or free one, it works on all of them because it's custom section. And it takes time to build this stuff. So I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. It will motivate me actually to share more free things with you guys. So as I said, we will do demonstration on this one. So I'm going to click. The first thing you're going to do is access uh, online store, then teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. But for my case, as I said, I'm going to do it in here. So I'm going to click on three dots in here and click on edit code for this team. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel right here, you will see some files of folders and simply click on this folder right here where it says sections. Click on it to be expanded, then click on the first option, which is add a new section. And it will show you this prompt so you can name the section. And simply name it video-banner. Just make sure you name it something unique so it doesn't create a conflict with the other file in case there is another file with the same name. So click on done, and it will create some code in here by default. Make sure to delete this, clear this file, and do not keep anything. Just closing bracket will cause some issues. Then in here, we need to, to pass in the code for the video banner. And where are you going to get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code and get back to this video. I'm just joking. <laughs> Scroll that description box and you will see a link. My website completely free again and download a zip file. Inside it, you will find another dot .liquid file. Then open it with any text editor on your computer. Copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? After that, click on the save button. All my tutorials are like this, actually. Just copy and paste, copy and paste. You can do this even if you're like five years old. I'm sure you're not. So get back to the uh, dashboard right here. And after that, we need to add the section because as I said, this is a custom section. 
after you click on save button of course then click on customize button for the team you are using in my case as i said doing demonstration on this one so i'm going to click on customize in here then it will open up the team editor and simply navigate to the page where you want to add the video banner you can click on home page and select which page you want to show the video banner in my case i want to add it on the home page so i'm going to keep the same page and pick where you want to add it at the bottom by the way slideshow with videos i already did that in video make sure to check it out completely free again but as i said we will add the video banner in here so i'm going to click on plus button add a section and simply search for video and you will see on how video banner this one right here then simply click on it and you will see an empty section why because we need to add the section i mean the video sorry so on the left of on the right sorry again come on on the right of the page you will see some options in here which is video settings it has some very very handy options that will help you actually uh, to adjust this one and i will explain each one by the way you see this uh, glass effect frosted glass effect on the header if you are interested in that i already made a video and it's completely free again so in here when you're gonna paste in the video for the i mean the video link come on i didn't drink coffee today so i apologize so in here we need to paste in the video link and make sure it ends with that mp4 uh, where are you going to get that video make sure to upload it to your files so access shopify dashboard then on the left of the page right here click on content then click on files come on content then files then simply drag the video and drop it in here just make sure you compress the video a little bit so it doesn't take much to to load uh, that will not affect and i will also show you how to add a cover image so even if the video is too large it will still show up just fine so in my case i'm going to use this video right here then after you uploaded the video to your shopify store simply use this button right here to copy the link for it then get back in here and simply paste it in the video link right here and after that select it and it should show up in here as you can see and no worries you can adjust the height you can adjust the text size everything so the next one is the video cover image and this is very important because uh, some people they have slow internet the video will for because of the lazy load will take time to load make sure to add a video uh, image based on the video just like this one right here i would screenshot it and upload that picture in here because in case the video will be taking time to load it will show that image instead and should be based on the video that's very clear right and again on the, uh, the option below it is the video blur effect if you are wondering why is that in case the video has too much contrast this text right here will not look too obvious if you add blur the text will look very good this is in case you don't want to show the box because actually you can show the box change this color or everything so in my case i actually like this option i'm gonna set it as three is perfect as you can see it has that smooth blur so below again is the dimensions for the section so desktop height you can make this very very large as you can see but i don't recommend you to do that uh, just around 500 no more yeah i'm gonna keep it like this it looks like a proper banner right and below is the same but for mobile and this is based on subscribers they always ask different resizing options for mobile and desktop i got you guys here is uh, the one for the mobile and the one for desktop i'm gonna keep it 300 by default and below again is the content box so you can enable this option and it will show a box and you can change its color by default it has the uh, transparent little bit transparent so i like it as black like this you can change the color however you want in my case i'm going to keep it as black and below again is the custom heading font url why is that because you can actually add a custom font to the heading on how to do that that's very easy find any font that you like online simply download the file for it upload it again to use the same place where the files on your shopify uh, section this one as you can see is actually a file otf i'm gonna copy the link for it using this button i'm gonna get back in here and paste it in the custom heading for url and here it is as you can see so no complicated stuff simply find any file any phone you like download the file for it upload it to your files copy the link paste it in here and ta-da! now the next option is the heading title you can change the heading title change the heading desktop size and of course desktop size on mobile each one is different and the heading letter spacing because as you saw this phone that i did use it looks a little bit the, the letters is too close to each other if i increase this one to four check it out 
now it's much better, right? This is based on the phone you're using. So maybe you need this one, maybe not. So again, the next one is the description right here. You can adjust description, make a single word bold. This is a rich text input, so you can adjust this however you want. And below is the size again for desktop and for the mobile. I'm gonna keep them just demonstration. I'm gonna actually increase the size for desktop. Yeah, it's perfect. And below is the color, heading color and the text color which stands for description color. I'm gonna keep them white as default. And below again is the button. Uh, let's just type in button. And you can set a link for it. Let me set a collection for it, jewelry. And you can pick if you want the button to open the link in a new tab or the same tab. I'm gonna pick a new tab. And this one is the button text size. You can increase the text size on the button, as you can see. And below is the button background color and the button text color. By default is white and the text is black. And this one is the border radius for the button. You can make it pointy co corners like this, or you can make it even rounded like this. So you can customize this however you want. And that's how you add a video banner to your Shopify store by using your own custom code and completely free. And it's highly customizable as well. And if you have any video requests, make sure to drop on below. But for now, I think my job is done. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.